Okay, welcome everybody. Today we want to look at um, some of the options in this envelope area here in ShaperBox. We have this, let's bring this up here so you can see what I'm talking about. We're going to open up uh, the filter shaper. All right, so I have this little piece of music here. And I'm uh, working with this pluck sound. Let me move this over here. This little piece here. If you go over here, uh, when you have the filter shaper open, you go over this thing that says envelope, and you click that on, and uh, there's a little arrow, and you open this window up, and you have this area here called envelope. And what's happening here, you have these various uh, thresholds and um, things. Let me turn this off. Filter L LFO, depending on you know how loud different things are. When you're playing through this, you can see the little peaks here. <clears throat> and the typical thing that you use this for You'll set a threshold, you know, and um, the amount and various attacks and all these things here. And depending on how loud something is, it will, you know, open the filter up. That's the typical way to use it. And actually, we're going to do a video on that at some point. And that's, but there's a lot of videos out there already showing you that. So that's why I'm not uh, diving into that right away. What I want to show you is, again, like I usually try to do, um, some of the creative things that I use this for, you know, when I'm making music. And really, again, the whole point is making music. So, <clears throat> for example, one thing you want to always keep in mind, a lot of these uh, plugins, this one and many others, most all the um, parameters these days, you know, are auto, you can automation, you know, create automation lanes with them simply by hitting the right button and, you know, clicking on it. So watch, this is what I, you know, enjoy doing a lot is just, going crazy with the parameters instead of setting it up the normal way just start messing with it with automation so let's do that i'm going to start this thing here <clears throat> and again we're just dealing with this one little sound for now and uh, i'm going to click on the uh right that's the important part and then i'll start with this option here that says attack okay when i click on it it immediately starts writing an automation lane as you can see up there in the right Okay, now maybe I want to um, try this hold one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on it. Ah, wait till this thing recycles around. All right, start writing. See that? I mean, these are sounds you just won't get by just programming a static sound in. And let it go. See, each one writes its own automation lane. Let's go down to the release and mess with it when it comes up. I can do it fast. Crazy stuff, which I can always change later. That one's too drastic, the peaks are too high. I'm gonna change this um, threshold amount. I'll catch that on the next automation turnaround when it comes around. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Each one has a little variation of the sound. Okay, there. All right, now I'm gonna turn off my right button. As you can see, all these different parameters are now being automated. Crazy automation, you know, all over the place. Look at them changing. But adding so much variety to the sound, right? Let me get this out of here now. Now, this one I did here, I went a little too crazy on, right? So let's thin this out a little bit. Open this up. I can, there's a, lots of ways to do this, but one way is just select all the points and I can kind of drag them down. And with Cubase you can angle them. You can do all kinds of weird stuff with this thing. Until you hear something you like. That's good. All right, so there you go. So that one simple little sound right there. Let me turn all these let me turn the right off here for a minute. So there you go. The basic pluck sound. Turn the right animation back on. Now, all these things are going crazy. There we go. Now, 
let's add some of these other sounds in. See that? This is how you build a song, just like that. Different uh, textures. But there you go, just, just from simple experimentation and automation and not necessarily even knowing what half of these things do, just play with them and listen to them and you're off and running and that's what it's all about. So there you go, have fun with that, we'll see you guys next time.